This is the Iris Revision 6. It is a column staggered split ergonomic keyboard. It is also currently KBO's most recent Iris board. It's the next generation from the Revision 5, but how does it compare? Also, the Revision 7's webpage is already up, so should you simply wait? Well, in this video, I'll be addressing all of those as well as making an in-depth review of the Revision 6. So, let's talk differences. The two alternative options from Kibio is, and eventually will be, the Iris Revision 5 and the Iris Revision 7. The Iris Revision 6 is in fact pretty much just an Iris Revision 5 with all the upgrades added. The stock Iris Revision 5 comes without hot swap, without perky RGB, although all three have underglow, and has two encoder knobs similar to the Revision 6. Originally, you could get the Revision 5 with hot swap for a price. But now, you have to get the Revision 6 if you want native hot swap support. Though, if you're using non mx dot switches, you may still want to get a Revision 5. Now, bringing in the upcoming Revision 7, this variant adds two more encoders on the top corner of each PCB, respectively. In addition, it brings back support from the Revision 5, the 2U thumb support. So, which one should you get? Well, if we sort this list of features out, we get that the Revision 5 loses hot swap and perky RGB, from the Revision 6. Do note that you can still solder in LEDs if you really want, and it loses two encoders from the Revision 7. Meanwhile, the Revision 6 loses two U thumb support from the Revision 5 and 7, as well as two additional encoders from the Revision 7. Now that we have looked at each keyboard feature-wise, what about the price? The Irish Revision 6 comes in at $79.99. Over the Revision 5, it gains hot swap and perky RGB for 20 additional dollars. I personally think that is actually quite reasonable, as previously, the Revision 5 charged $34 to add in hot swap support. But what about the Revision 7? It's also the same price as the Revision 6. Well, the Revision 7 does offer 2U thumb support, as well as two additional encoder positions. However, unless you specifically need those features, I don't really see a reason to wait. Anyways, back to the Iris Revision 6. I built my Iris with stainless steel plates, which I spray painted black, looped yoke trash panda switches, and blue hell keycaps. In any case, thank you for watching this far into the video, and let's end it with the long-awaited sound test.